everybody. Hi, it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. <laughs> we are up in Durant, Oklahoma. It is uh, Sunday evening. It's late. What time is it? It's like almost 8 o'clock in the evening. And I've had a wonderful trip up here. Uh, my husband is over at the casino. We like to stay at the KOA at Choctaw. If you are traveling through southern Oklahoma and you need a place to stay with your RV, check out the KOA at Choctaw Casino. It's across the street from the casino and it is wonderful. We love staying here. This is like our third or fourth time to stay here and um, it's, it's a wonderful, beautiful RV park. It's very clean and big long spots. We have a 42 foot uh, Winnebago Tour motorhome and we have a tow dolly on the back with a little sparky car and uh, we just fit just fine and everything and the office is gorgeous and they do have a shuttle that will run around and come pick you up. So there's my uh, KOA <laughs> RV announcement for the day. <laughs> All right, so it is a Sunday and I do not gamble on Sundays, but I have not set foot in that casino since we've been here. I just, I'm so busy. So we went to a KOA in Canton, Texas, which is just east of Dallas and it was off of Highway 20 and uh, wow, what a beautiful park. That's another one. If you get a chance and you're coming through uh, this way to head south into South Texas, then uh, go through Canton. You will love it. They have a barbecue restaurant on site that is fabulous. And the pool was great. There's tons to do. They deliver barbecue to your site, which is awesome. So uh, yeah, we really, really enjoyed that. And so we stayed there for two days. We had a broken air conditioner, so we had mobile RV repair come and take care of the AC, and that was fine. And $2,800 later, we were on our way. Y'all, it's hot in South Texas. You gotta fix that right off. Oh my goodness. So we were there for two days, and then we came on up to Durant. We're leaving in the morning, and we're gonna go down to Waco, and we're spending the night, one night in Waco, and then we're gonna go ahead and get home on Tuesday. Anyway, so while we were in Canton, I have to be honest, y'all, I was so frustrated with the RV repair tech who was supposed to come on time. You know, he, they, they tell you I'll be there, blah, 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 whatever time. And even though he couldn't make it at that time, had he texted or called and said, hey, I had a job that went sideways and I'll be there later or whatever, I'd have been fine with that. But no, he just blew, he just, nothing like crickets, radio silence, you know? And I finally texted him at 6.30 in the evening and I said, never mind, we're leaving in the morning. And he's like, no, no, no. And he showed up at like 7, 7.30 at night and was there until 10 o'clock. And y'all, my bedtime is like 8.30, 9 o'clock, something like that. So while I was waiting for him, I finished my sashing for support group. I'll put a picture of it right here. And all I have left to do are the borders to get that together and get it on. And I've got some embroidery surprises that I think are going to look really cool for that. So I'm working on that and, and that's going along fine. I was going to make a lawn yard sign to put on a stake outside the camper. I ended up not doing that because I didn't bring a hoop. I brought the machine. I brought the embroidery arm, I brought the stabilizer, I brought all the products, I brought everything I need, thread, everything. No hoop. I was telling one of my Facebook moderators, Katie Emmert, about that on the email and she said, why don't you buy a hoop for your RV? <laughs> I said, you know, that's brilliant. <laughs> but I think instead what I'm going to do is the embroidery hoop that that the largest one that that machine uses is a six by ten so that is going that six by ten hoop is going to live in the outside pocket of the luggage because gypsy my uh, brother nq 3700d it is a combo 
sewing and embroidery machine. The largest tube is a six by 10. So I will put that in the luggage that she always travels in. So when I load up the luggage, I'll have a hoop, right? You guys, it's always something when you try to travel and take things with you. But anyway, let me get back to waiting for this guy to never show up. So the next morning, he was supposed to show up. He said he would be at our RV between 7.30 and 7.45 in the morning. Well, by noon, he had not showed. And I was just, y'all, it's probably the military in me. I'm just like, oh, I couldn't stand it. And you you realize they're, everybody's busy and you're grateful that they're fitting you in because you're in an emergency. He had to bring a new air conditioning unit out to the RV. The night before was just to diagnose the problem and the next day was to bring the parts and fix it. Thank goodness he had a an air conditioner that he could haul up to the top of the RV and put it up there. There's three of them up there. The one in the front failed. Driving up here was hot. Ooh. Anyway, so it got to be about noon and I, those of you who know me know what I was doing. Those of you who don't know me, it wasn't pretty. <laughs> I was just like, drives you nuts right it just drives you nuts the whole time we'd been in canton which is just east of dallas i said that the whole time we'd been there i was i needed to make a walmart trip but i of course i was like is there a quilt shop in canton and there was it's called so and so and um i didn't tell them i wanted to go i didn't call them and say i was a youtuber and i wanted to do a video or anything like that so he my husband says to me, you know, about 12, 15, he says, how about if I unhook the car and you can take it and go to Walmart? Maybe you need to go shopping. And I said, maybe I do. By the way, there's a quilt shop in town. I'll be a while. <laughs> so I went over there and y'all, I met the coolest lady. Her name was Thelma and she's 88 years old and she owns this shop. Oh my gosh, you guys, all she sells is moda. That's it. Okay. So I went over there before I went to Walmart because Walmart can wait. So she asked me where I'm from and I told her Lavernia, which is just Southeast of San Antonio. She says, Oh, she says I'm from Rungi and Rungi is uh, just like, 45 minutes to an hour southeast of where we live and it's a little tiny town and she was raised there with her family and she started picking cotton when she was three years old by hand by hand and I did not get a picture of this and I should have but she has her very first quilt she ever made it's a little doll bed quilt and it's just a bunch of half square triangles and it's about this tall and about this long and it's all faded and it has cotton inside of it that she picked as a child and she was just awesome of course when you're in a quilt shop you got to stop and visit and I think half the time I was in there we were visiting and it was just so much fun at the end of this video I'm I didn't take my camera with me but I took a load of pictures and I'm gonna put those pictures at the end of this video and then you guys can just kind of shop with the pictures you know as we go around the store if there's anything that you are looking for that is moda that you can't find she said if you tell her where you saw it in the video she'll take a look at it and uh, she will be happy to cut it and send it to you. So she was the most, she was a character, y'all. I just loved her. So, okay, so let me show you what I got at So and So in Canton, Texas. When I went and got all the fabric out of the car to come in here to make the video, I was holding it. I'm like, I have about 10 pounds of fabric. It's crazy. Okay, so what I bought mostly was things to go with things so I got this this is uh, an aqua color 
and I don't have my glasses on, so it's going to be hard for me to see. It is called Morning Light by Lindsay Call McRae for Moda. All of this is Moda, and it has a little tiny crisscross print in it. Can you see that? This is a perfect blender. I, th I think most of what I got was blenders. She does not have a lot of pre-cuts, mostly yardage. She's got a couple of jelly rolls there, but y'all, my jelly rolls have jelly rolls. I don't need any more, okay? I got a beautiful navy blue. This line, I'll hold it up here so you can see it, and then I will read the selvage to you. This is Starlight Gatherings by Primitive Gatherings. This is gorgeous. This is a beautiful navy. I love this. So I, I either got like a yard or a half yard of all of these. This is Twinkle by April Rosenthal. And this is the Halloween Twinkle with the black and the orange and the silver. Y'all, the lighting in here is terrible. I'm sorry. I hope you can see it. Let me get it up close. There's a yellow on everything because of the overhead lighting. I didn't bring a circle light with me. Now, Corey Yoder has those panels, and I've got one, and I couldn't remember which one, so I bought both because she had both. So this is the one panel that has the blocks on it with the lime and the peach, and then here is the panel with the lime and the red. You guys that watch me would probably go, you've got the red one or you've got the peach one. I couldn't remember, y'all. So now I have the panels that I need with the fabric to be able to make that quilt. And I've got the pattern, too. You know, quilting sometimes it just takes time. That's why it's really good to get those planners where you can write down what you have, maybe even put swatches. If I was that organized, wouldn't we all love to be that organized? <laughs> Hey, leave a comment below and tell me how you organize, you know, your, like you've got bits and pieces and you know you're going to need something else or you're working on this or that or whatever. I'd love to know how y'all do that. Moda also has this, uh, this is Christmas stitched and I know that the Fat Quarter Shop is doing a sew along for this. I don't, I didn't buy the kit and I'm not doing the sew along, but I love the quilt. And so if they ever release the pattern, I went ahead and purchased the Christmas Stitched. Now, I got this from Villa Rosa Designs, I believe. I know I did. But I went ahead and got this panel of it. So I got a couple of those and, you know, placemats, whatever. And then along with that goes this lime green with dots. I got some yardage of this. This is all part of that. I got the holly berries and leaves and here is the red with the dots same pattern as the lime green and then here is the red with the pine cones so I got some yardage of all of that now I did get some of this from Villa Rosa Designs I think I've got enough now that I can do the Christmas stitched I, I, I haven't seen the pattern from Fat Quarter Shop it's a mystery so or I'll find something to do with it. It's fine. I think I'm going to use that fabric for my Christmas quilt this year, I think. So she has got a big section of like yellow dot, orange dot, green dot, blue dot, whatever, discounted fabric. And she had these pumpkins. And they were on a clearance bolt. So I got two yards of this because this will go in every single fall or Halloween quilt from now till eternity so I got two yards because you never know right and let's see I'm this is a red white and blue I just got a half yard of this I don't think I got oh I did get the selvage it's from me and my sister designs good things happen on the back porch this is just a nice white background red white and blue blender that will not even a blender like a filler fabric if you need a white in a red, white, and blue quilt, I thought that this would work perfect. Moda has come out with some new things. This is called Late October Halloween Treat Bags. Sweetwater Print Works. So look at this. This is brand new. And I think people ordered them a long time ago. And they haven't... 
I mean, she just got this. She didn't even have a price tag on it. But I was like, I want that. So let me open it up and show you what it looks like. It's one of those big panels that you can quilt. I got another one too for Christmas and I can't wait to get into that. These have been sitting on a boat somewhere in the Pacific. Oh, y'all. Okay, so here's what it looks like, all right? This is what you get. So it comes with, it comes with fronts and backs and facings. That's what these little pieces are here, are facings. Okay. Oh, this is adorable. Look at this. Too cute. So I might make these, uh, my grandchildren do a harvest thing at the church. This is cute. Trick or treat. Spooky. I don't know. Oh, isn't that adorable? Look. These are cute, y'all. Oh my goodness. Happy Halloween. This is cute. I don't think it'll cut it for the harvest thing. <laughs> the church. <laughs> Still adorable. You know, this would be cute to stitch these up and donate them to uh, like a school or something. This is so cute. Or you can make pillows out of them, little pillows. That's really cute too. Moda is based out of Dallas and they do a lot of like tea towels for states. And they did this one, and she had put some accompanying fabric on it to make it into a uh, like an apron. Now this one won't work for an apron because it's sideways, but there's my tea towel for Texas. Look at that. Oh my goodness, there's everything. I love it. Very cute. This might have to live in the RV. I like this. And oh my gosh, y'all, it, it's called Moda Home. And what they're using, <laughs> look what's on the tag. <laughs> When's the last time you saw one of those? Oh my goodness. This used to be dinner on Tuesdays. <laughs> Remember those? <laughs> Love that. That's fabulous. Probably Swanson. Hey, that's a good meal. Remember we had turkey with gravy. Y'all are laughing. I know you are like, oh my gosh, I haven't seen that in 30 years. So we have turkey with gravy we had peas remember we had peas we had corn and then it was usually an apple cobbler but this looks like a cornbread who knows God, boy that brings back memories doesn't it oh my gosh that's wonderful and then they had she had this next thing it's called peace on earth and this is another one of those giant panels that moda has it's a whole cloth quilt and um those of you that are not quilters, like you're an embroiderer and you're watching me and you're like, what is she talking about? So a whole cloth quilt is one ginormous piece of fabric that you can literally just take it and put it on the long arm. Buy a backing, okay? Let me, I'm gonna put the camera back and stand back and show you this. Yeah, here it is. Okay, here it is. So the, it is, look, see it says peace on earth. Isn't that gorgeous? That dove, love this. With Christmas presents and blocks, quilt blocks all up and down the sides. Love it. Just gorgeous, okay? So this is a whole cloth quilt panel and you can literally, like I said, take this and a backing to a long armor and say, please make this up for me and they you pick a pattern and some thread and you don't have to you don't have to do anything to it they can even put a binding on it for you or you can do it yourself it's just you know fairly easy if you want to hand stitch it or mach machine stitch it like i do but these are very these are wonderful so i'm gonna do that i have a long arm so i'm going to put a backing to it a little christmas backing on it and I'm gonna stitch it out myself and it'll be my Christmas quilt. It'll be beautiful. I love this, it's gorgeous. Moda has several of those. Let me give you the size on that. This finishes at 58 by 69. One quilt panel, materials needed. One quilt panel, 5 8 yard of binding fabric, four yards of backing and some batting, 66 by 77 and you're good. Quilt bind love, it says. So here you go, this is, this is it right here. Okay. 
beautiful. She said she ordered this like last February and they just came in. So that's everything I got at so and so. And uh, again, I will put pictures of that store at the end of this video and you guys can virtually just kind of wander around. So then we got up here to Durant and I went to Lulu and Hazel again and really enjoyed that. I want to thank all of you that came up to visit with me. Such a great time. My husband and his daughter, his oldest daughter and granddaughter came up there as well and that was their first trip to a quilt store. So it was a lot of fun to introduce them to uh, what you know my little world so that was that was cool but I, I had to do some shopping so my granddaughter she's very country and western and she shows goats and that kind of thing and she's in uh, real big in the 4-H and um, I don't know FFA I think just 4-H anyway so you know of all things she gravitated to some John Wayne fabric which is kind of hard to do girly but I'm going to do what I can with that. So she was telling her mom she had picked out, she was like, look at this mom. So this is a John Wayne layer cake. Okay. Well, it's from Riley Blake. So it's just a pack of 10 inch squares. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And y'all can see it's got big prints. I had to open it up so we could get some coordinating fabric. Let me pull that off. Okay. So it's got big prints right here, right? These three and these three are big prints and the rest of them are coordinating fabrics. She only had a couple of bolts of the fabric that go with this line, but I think I can make it work. And we went ahead and cut, uh, we found, I think this is gonna work really well. This is like a green, it's kind of a green blender, okay? So I think this is gonna work good with that, see? Kristen, at. Lulu and Hazel helped me pick this out. That was good. And then this is, so this is not part of the line. This is, it's from Wyndham, Wyndham Fabrics and it is called Spectrum by Whistler Studios. This is pattern number 52782. Okay. So this is one of their blenders by Wyndham. Okay. So this is going to go in the quilt and I might see if I have some other coordinating fabrics at home to maybe give it a little bit more feminine touch to it. This is part of the line. I got this for the binding and additional fabric and then I picked this up for the backing. This is awfully cute. Look at that. I'm sorry it's wrinkled. but So I got that. That's all I bought at Lulu and Hazel more fabric in all the time and they have moved the long arm to the back we had a wonderful group of ladies show up I want to thank all of you again who came I'll put your pictures in here uh, at the, when I get done jibber jabbering we did a demo of showing how to send applique from the brother luminaire to the brother scan and cut SDX 325 and did a little cut out finished up an embroidery design and it was very very cool we had a lot of fun so uh, yeah that was just neat and you know don't you know I had to refer back to one of my own videos to see how to do that <laughs> my gosh crazy oh here I said I'd put a picture on here's my support group look at that I got my I got my sashing all in vertical and horizontal sashing I hung this up on the wall at Lulu and Hazel. I want to thank Kristen and Charity for hosting me. It was really a lot of fun and we enjoyed it. So, All right, you guys. I just wanted to get this done so I can get the pictures in it and get it out to y'all. I miss you guys. I've been putting videos out. I've got videos on my computer that I finally have had time to do some editing on. And... Uh, my dogs are tired and what time is it now uh it's 8 17 so i've been yakking a long time all right y'all we will talk to you soon y'all go sew something bye